Hi guys, in this video, we are going to look at the total number of valence electrons and Lewis structure of carbon monoxide. To know the Lewis structure of any given molecule, it is vital to first know the total number of valence electrons. In carbon monoxide, we have one atom of carbon and one atom of oxygen. Carbon has four valence electrons, whereas oxygen has six valence electrons. In total, we'll have 10 valence electrons for carbon monoxide, which has a chemical formula of CO. As it is a diatomic molecule, we'll place both these atoms like this. After you have done that, start placing the valence electrons around both the atoms. Remember, carbon has four valence electrons and oxygen has six valence electrons and you have to place it accordingly. To complete the octates, both these atoms will form bonds and share electrons. Here, after forming one bond, the octets of both the atoms are not completed yet. So it will form another bond to see if the octet of any of the atoms are completed. Carbon is sharing two of its electrons with oxygen and in total four electrons out of ten are used up to form a double bond. Still, the octets of carbon are not completed, but oxygen has a full octet. We'll try to balance it out by moving these two electrons from oxygen here, where it can form um, another bond and see if the octets are completed. Now, there is a triple bond between carbon and oxygen, and the octet of carbon is completed as it has eight electrons. The octet of oxygen is also completed as it has eight electrons. And there is a lone pair on carbon atom and a lone pair on oxygen atom. Hence, Lewis structure of carbon monoxide will have a triple bond between carbon and oxygen atom, a lone pair on carbon atom and a lone pair on oxygen atom. I hope this video helps you to understand the Lewis structure of carbon monoxide. To know more about its molecular geometry, polarity and other such properties, kindly refer to the link given below. Thank you.